On this edition of Phoenix News, DTSOI teachers do some fatherly stand-up. We recognize our student success in the film world. And relive the history of everyone's favorite holiday. All this and more. Welcome back to Phoenix News. I'm Genesis Amaya. And I'm Naomi Chavez. It feels like spring just started. We're already barreling into summer vacation. Tests and competitions are wrapping up. Families are planning vacations. And our parents are paying off their taxes. Oh, my parents love taxes. They talk about them all the time. Yeah, I bet they only have good things to say about them. We only ever hear about paying taxes, but no one ever stops and thinks about their history. That's why Alex Moreau made a quick video about how every American's favorite yearly tradition got started. When you think of spring and holidays, we both come to the same conclusion. We think of tax day. But where did tax day originate? Well, it actually came from the year 1861, when Abraham Lincoln announced the first ever federal income tax. He taxed anyone who had the modern day salary of $23,500 3% to accommodate for the Civil War. Today's tax system was not introduced until the year 1909 though, and then the states didn't even agree until 1913 when the 16th Amendment was created. The 16th Amendment states that Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes on incomes from whatever source derived without appointment among the several states and without regard to any census. What actually is tax day? Tax day is the due date in which you return your tax forms into the government. The day this would take place was originally March 1st. This later changed into March 15th for apparently no reason. But not until 1955 they changed the day to April 15th. They did this to give taxpayers more time to bounce back after buying all the Christmas presents. Okay, okay, we may have been a little extreme about our love for taxes, but it's time to get serious. I agree. Do you have a favorite dad joke? I'm glad you asked, because I do. Why are skeletons so calm? I don't know. Why are skeletons so calm? Because nothing gets under their skin. Anyways, we sent our reporters out to the hall to ask some of our DTSOI teachers for their best dad joke. Hey guys, I'm here with Phoenix News. We're going to go around DTSOI and ask teachers what's their favorite dad joke, and they're going to rate each other. Let's go. Why did the old man trust the trees? I don't know. They seem kind of shady. <laughs> uh, as an expert in dad jokes, that's pretty good. All right, what you got? Uh, you know, I was just messing around the other day, and I decided to sell my vacuum cleaner. Because <laughs> it was just gathering dust. So I was messing around, and I decided to sell my vacuum cleaner because I was gathering dust. Nice. Uh, that's, uh, that's a good eight. That's a good eight, maybe. Okay, all right. All right, what you got? Um, so, did you hear the one about the guy who got the whole left side of his body cut off? No. He's all right now. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Did you hear about the guy that had all his left side cut off? He's all right now. All right, what would you rate it? Um, I think that's a six out of 10. All right, what you got? Uh, why did the skeleton go to the barbecue? I don't know why. To get another rib. I like that one, I like that one, I like that one. Why did the skeleton go to the barbecue? Uh, Providing the ribs. He wanted more ribs. Oh. Okay, what, what would you rate that? Uh, it's better than average. So like a five out of ten? Six, six and a half. Okay, okay. All right, what you got, Feltner? 
Uh, do you know what the race car driver wore to the beach? I don't know. What did he wear? A Lamborghini. All right, cut, cut, cut. What did the race car driver wear to the beach? Sunscreen. <laughs> Wait, no, a helmet. What did the guy say to the calendar? Your days are numbered. All right, what would you rate it? Three out of 10. Seems about right. All right, what you got, O'Keefe? Why were they called the Dark Ages? I don't know why. Because there were so many knights. That's probably the best one so far, not gonna lie. Well, wait, no, hold on, wait, wait. A fuel, a burn proof suit. A wait, 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 wait. A tire. Okay, okay, all right. What'd you got, Pesquinson? Okay. What did the person say to the calendar? I don't know, what did it say? Your days are numbered. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Thanks to all the DTSOI teachers that participated, but we hope you stick to teaching. Genesis, do you ever stop and think about all the creativity and talent we have in this building? You know, I really don't as often as I should. It can be easy to forget how awesome all the students and staff in our Phoenix family are when you see them every day. Luckily for some of us, some of our AV Tech students have recently stood out for their accomplishments in the film world from participating in competitions, to bringing light to tragic events, these students can do it all. Skills USA is a national competition that starts out in the states uh, across the nation. And it is a conference that allows students to test their skills in real world experience type situations. Skills USA is a, is a place where students get to exhibit what they've learned throughout their uh, throughout their training in their programs at their high schools. Skills USA brings students together from all over Arkansas to give them the opportunity to know that they're leaving high school with real world talent, real world experience, real world skills that will make them successful after high school. It's an incredible opportunity and uh, just test students to make sure that they know how to be the best of the best when they walk out the doors of their high schools. This year, Skills USA was an amazing experience. We got to go down to Hot Springs and compete with several other drones programs with the skills and the knowledge that we've acquired over several years of being a part of the drones program here at the Don Tyson School of Innovation. Skills USA gives students the opportunity to establish connections in the fields that they're interested in working in in the future. It gives them opportunities to find internships and job opportunities that they might not have had uh, knowledge of uh, prior. Gold medal achievement at Skills USA uh, signifies that in Arkansas our students exhibited the best of the best qualifications. They understood in, in our division, which is commercial drones operation, they understood piloting skills, they understood familiarity with airport operations, they understood familiarity with mapping, data acquisition, volumetric capture, and how to use that data to create pertinent materials for potential industry partners. They were also tested on their ability to actually pilot through obstacle courses. And our students exhibited top-notch skills in those areas. That's what got us to gold level operation in the Skills USA contest and what earned us the state championship in that competition. It was amazing to, to finally see all of our work pay off to win gold. We've, we've been working as a, as a drone program for several years to first get our Part 107 and we accomplished that. So it was like, where do we go next? And when we, we found out there was a, a drone competition that we could participate in, it was a no-brainer. So we went down and we, uh, we did what we do every day here in the drones program, and this time our work really paid off. Uh, preparing for Atlanta, uh, go into the state competitions, let us see what industry professionals are looking for. Uh, those people came together, collaborated to build the exams, to build the test fields, to build the knowledge. 
uh, testing documents that our students saw at state competitions. As we move forward, go into the national competitions, we're going to be spending time with some of our community partners, we'll be spending time with uh, local uh, post-secondary institutions to train and make sure that we are the best of the best, that we've seen what industry professionals are looking for. We're adding certifications to our toolboxes so that students go to the national competitions knowing that they're going to have those tools in order to be successful at the national competitions. We expect to dominate that competition just like we did at State. My overall experience at Skills USA was pretty incredible. You know, I, I always enjoy getting to hang out with uh, my friends and, you know, participate in events where we can really hone our creative skills and work together to problem solve and create some art. We worked on a short film that we called Artist Objective and I guess the real story behind it is you know the true struggle of creators and the plateaus that you can get into but overall I'd say the experience was incredible and I, I think it's an incredible learning experience for people in that field. You know, I had never been to Skills USA prior to taking this group of students. We took eight students, and um, four of those were seniors. It's bittersweet to see those guys in competition. It's great to see them there and doing a good job, and it's sad to know that they are going to be on to bigger and better things here shortly. Being a senior, it is sad to look at the fact that this is kind of our last competition that I'll get to participate in. And it's, it's been a real pleasure getting to work with three of the best filmmakers that I've ever met personally and really kind of teamwork with them and I hope to still be able to work with them outside of high school since they're just an incredible group of guys and uh, you know I wouldn't be anywhere where I am today without without them. The shining moment for me was to see uh, ninth grade students go into an environment that they didn't know because I, did, I couldn't really prep them for and to see them compete in a manner that was very admirable for the School of Innovation. Those students put forth their best effort um, and, and they got recognized for it. And so it just makes me really proud. My experience at Skills USA, I would say, was very positive. Being with older students as well, and not just students that are in the same experience as I am, I feel like I was able to take in a lot from them and I had a lot of fun while doing it. Sometimes I feel like I am not necessarily teaching students as much as just allowing them to, to cultivate their own skills that they've already, that they already have. I get to see them be put into environments where they get to blossom and, and really show the rest of the world what they're capable of. Um, the class was Intermediate AV Tech, and uh, it wasn't originally assignment because I just wanted to produce a film for myself and for the class. So he just gave me the freedom of what I wanted to do, and I chose Nuclear Remembrance. Growing up, like throughout all of the years I went to school, I've done a lot of projects on Nuclear Remembrance, like the testing. And this year, now that like I got I'm like into the film industry kind of. I just decided to bring awareness to the nuclear testing and while doing something that I love. I interviewed Josiana Changam and Elden Aluk. Um, Elden Aluk is the Council General for uh, Arkansas, I think. And I just knew he had a lot of background in the nuclear testing, so he was one of the first people that popped in mind. And then Josiana Changam is one of my aunts that graduated from the U of A. And she's done a lot of like projects about it. So I just thought I would interview her, interview her since she had a lot of background in it. Most kids these days don't even know much about their history. Um, so really, really go out there and educate yourself. The way we look at social media, follow accounts that um, talk about our history follow platforms that talk about it a lot. There's a lot of people on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram that, you know, go after all of these issues. There's the Miss Marshall Islands account. She's great. She talks a lot about our history, things like that. And I feel like little kids should really look up to things like that so they can, you know, educate themselves. Springdale, Arkansas is like probably where the biggest 
population of Marshallese are. And I just thought that there's a lot of people here and most of them don't know about what happened. So I think this is one of the like subjects that need to be brought into light and people need to hear the Marshallese people's stories and know about know a little bit more about their history. So my main goal was just to raise awareness and teach the younger generation about what happened. And like, if they were to see me like producing this film, then it'll show all the parents out there that if this kid can do it, then my kid can do it. So I just wanted to bring awareness and show the Marsley's parents what we can do. Over 30,000 Marshallese people have moved to the U.S., although some didn't have a choice. The Marshallese youth is our future, so we cannot let our nuclear legacy be forgotten. Once again, congratulations to all those students. We're excited to see what they produce in the near future. It's time for a break, but stick around to see an amazing new opportunity for DTSOY students. Someday I hope to be a fashion designer. Someday I hope to be a basketball player. Someday. Someday. Someday I hope to be a doctor for kids. I also have seven. Seven. I have seven. Seven. Seven school board members. I have seven school board members. Working. 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 Working to ensure my success. Thank you. We thank you. We thank you for believing in us. We thank you for, for believing, believing in us. Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. Experience everything Springdale has to offer. Visit ExploreSpringdale.com or download the new Explore Springdale app. It's the best place to discover all there is to do and see in Springdale. We'll help you explore our many eateries and attractions and introduce you to our shopping, arts, parks, and trails. You'll also find links to our great hotels and meeting venues. Download the new Explore Springdale app or visit ExploreSpringdale.com to begin your Springdale adventure. The Springdale Chamber of Commerce is among the top 1% of chambers in the nation to be honored with a five-star rating by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. We work each day to make our members more profitable through programming and events that strengthen our economy, help to create jobs for a growing population, and support the needs of a diverse community. We make Springdale a better place to live. Learn more about the Chamber and Springdale by visiting our website, springdale.com. Welcome back. Hey, Naomi, do you know what you want to be when you're older? Hold up, hold up. I'm just settling into this new anchor thing. Ask me again in a few days or maybe months. Fair enough. For those who are more interested in exploring their options, DTSOI has recently made official on a great opportunity. Students have been able to get their associate's degree here in the arts and science field, but now they can also get a business degree. Yep, some of our team captured the event here earlier this month. We are eager for you to see it. Okay, thank you all for being patient. We are ready to get started. Students of the Don Tyson School of Innovation will have first of its kind opportunity to fast track a business degree which allows our high school students to garner college course credit that will result in a direct pathway to the Sam M. Walton College of Business at the University of Arkansas. Don Tyson School of Innovation's vision is accelerated, advanced college and industry, which is only possible through partnerships. Thank you, Northwest Arkansas Community College, and University of Arkansas and Sam M. Walton College of Business for partnering with us to expand opportunities for our students. We are Don Tyson School of Innovation and we mean business.
So at this time, we're going to move to the signing ceremony um, and just direct your attention to the table. We hope all of you are thrilled by this fantastic news as we are. That's right. Naomi, are you sure you don't want to be a teacher when you're older? Um, personally, that's not my cup of tea. But wouldn't it pay off to be nominated for Influential Teacher? Maybe, but I'm not much of a people's person. Well, for now, we'd like to recognize someone who does love being a teacher. This month's Influential Teacher is Mr. Barnett. I love it here. This is by far my favorite school that I've worked at. Um, there's just such a, a community of everyone's kind of working together and in it together. It's almost like we're all a big family, Phoenix fam. Uh, working with the other teachers and students um, just feels like we're all working together, uh, trying to achieve the same dream of learning and growing together. Mr. Barnett was a really fun teacher. I just felt like he was very helpful in everything that I was learning about English. I felt like I could be open with anything. He was a very nice teacher and it just felt like no matter what, I could come to him one-on-one -on -one if I was struggling and it just didn't matter whether I was a little too out of focus or it was just a thing of I couldn't, I just had no motivation because he always found some way to make me feel better where I could just get into it and I could really get everything done. Uh, right now my ninth graders are reading Romeo and Juliet. They just, just performed here in a modified version, shortened version of the play. And then we analyzed for theme back in the classroom. Uh, it was flattering to be, to be chosen for that. Huge compliment. Maybe I should be a teacher. Maybe so. Congratulations again to Mr. Barnett. That's all for this one, but thank you for tuning in to another Phoenix News. We'll see you in the next one.